Hi, I'm Amanda Pressler with Pressler Music, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hello, it's great to have you for this week's Explore Tulsa. We start the show with one of our most beloved natural resources. Then we meet the brains behind Tulsa football. Followed by a battle worth noting. Plus we meet a guy reaching out to make a difference with baseball. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. It's nice to have you with us once again for this week's Explore Tulsa. Yep, Trish, and we're starting things off with Oklahoma's favorite son. I always loved Will Rogers' famous quote. Me too, Trish. I think one of my favorites is that income tax has made more liars out of Americans than golf. Mm, I'm guessing you're taking mulligans on both. Shh, the IRS or Phil Mickelson could be watching. Let, let's just learn more about Will Rogers. Will Rogers was so unique in the respect that his persona, his personality was genuine, he was sincere, and that was what Will had. He, there was no pretenses about Will. Anytime Will came home, he went to Chelsea. When he came back in his turf, he wanted to see his sisters, he wanted to see you know, uh, his friends, the cowboys, the rodeos, and um, yeah, people loved Will because they, they believed in him, they trusted him. He was the real deal. You know, when Will was killed in 1935, it was at a time when America could hardly afford to lose such a national hero as he was. And uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, um, everybody wanted to see something happen, but um, they didn't want the appropriations to come through Congress or federal funding. And so our own state, the 16th legislature, appropriated $200,000 to build a memorial to Will. Uh, what's significant about that, or I think is, is that it was built on the land that Will owned. He owned these 20 acres that this memorial sits on, and he purchased it in 1911 for the sole purpose of coming back to build his home here, because he claimed Claremore as his hometown, although you and I know, both know he was born 12 miles north of here in that little town called Ulaga. You know, his family was quite wealthy. Will was not a little poor boy. He was born into a family that had uh, pretty good wealth accumulated. And so his father was very ambitious, worked very, very hard. It's amassed over 60,000 acres of land. There was hired hands that worked on the ranch. And there was a couple, Dan and Babe Walker. They stayed with the Rogers family and they took little Willie and Dan Walker was the first person that put a rope in Will's hand and got him uh, to twirling. And Will would keep that up until he actually became perhaps the greatest roper in the entire world. He left Indian Territory in 1902 and he would go to Argentina and so as a young man, he decided I need to see more of the world. And so he went and left and went to Africa, South Africa on a freighter. And there he would meet a gentleman by the name of Texas Jack, who had a Wild West show that was going on at the time. He joined the Wild West show there. And it would be Texas Jack that would get Will interested in show business. Will was found out he could do things. He could get paid for twirling his rope, riding his horse, and he was making money. It was better than being out there with the cowboys riding and roping and spending night in the stars. It was a lot easier your work and so that's how he got involved. Texas Jack actually gave him his start, called him the Cherokee Kid. He got a sense of humor from his mother. She was a delightful woman. Everybody loved Mary America Scrimshaw Rogers. She was special. Played the piano, she was a singer, she was joyous and so Will always said that that's, he got the best of both though. He got, his, he got a lot from his father, but his mother really gave him that wonderful sense of humor. Bought a little horse, named it Teddy after Theodore Roosevelt. Got one of his good friends to ride it across the stage. Will would rope it. That began his vaudeville, that was his act. And then from there it went to kind of talking and roping and twirling and you know, 1908, he's married to Betty, and so then things are changing. He's very successful now in New York as a vaudeville. He was beginning to make a name for himself. It was a great thing. So vaudeville was an easy thing for Will, and he loved it. He was making very good money. 1918, hey, movies came along. And then on out to California, and uh, then his first talking movie, 1928, would come around, and that's when people would actually hear Will's voice for the first time. And the movies that he made, um, 
Uh, over a period of time, there would be 50 silent movies and 21 audibles. I mean, Will was one who traveled very, very light. It was not a trip that uh, his wife wanted him to take. And um, when he was invited by Wally to, to fund this expedition, Will jumped on board and he was ready to go. I mean, he was ready. He was really going up to Alaska to interview an old um, Alaskan that lived there, Charlie Brower. He wanted to get a story from him. That was really one of the reasons that he said he wanted to make the trip. When they crashed, um, plane was, it was witnessed, the accident was witnessed by some Eskimos. They had been lost in the fog for literally hours and sat down on this small lagoon. Will would come out on the wing and say, you know, how far to Barrow, we're lost. And so they pointed 15 miles that direction, took off. While he took off steep, the plane did a nosedive and crashed. Here's another Willism that I love. When Okies left Oklahoma and moved to California, they raised the average intelligence level in both states. Just think what Will would have said had he ever met the Kardashians. To get the full effect of Will Rogers and learn how to get tickets to the upcoming 75th Diamond Jubilee, visit willrogers.com. That show's gonna be awesome too. Jana Jay and the Tulsa Playboys one night. Then the next night, Jesse Coulter, Shooter Jennings, and the Red Dirt Rangers. I love the Red Dirt Rangers song, Blindsided by Love. Makes me think football. Then you're in love because our next hookup is with Mr. Football TU head coach Bill Blankenship when we return with more Explore Tulsa. At Video Revolution, our home entertainment experts have been designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use for over 30 years. From flat panel LED TVs to 4K projector systems, the top name brands are here at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to our business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. Video Revolution, Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge technology. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 claims to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive to at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Hello, you're back just in time for some hard-hitting action on Explore Tulsa. a girl, Trish, you sound like one of those football analysts. Then you'll love this. TU head coach Bill Blankenship spent 14 years as Union's head coach, compiling an overall record of 154 wins, eight consecutive district titles, and three state titles. And now he's got two winning seasons and a bowl victory at TU to add to his accomplishments. So recently we sat down with him to learn more about his love of the game and coaching. I still pinch myself. Um, you know, this this really is uh, an incredible journey that I that I and Angie and I get to be a part of. I mean, uh, uh, we've had tremendous leadership from our president and, and the trustees and all this over this last decade. And to, for me to be able to be at my home during that time is, is as good as it gets. Bill Blankenship, currently head football coach, University of Tulsa. Uh, you know, grew up in a, a coach's home. I had all brothers and I had all sons, and so we were kind of all moving towards sports in a lot of ways. Well, I think the thing that makes this special is that this is my alma mater. It's where I, I came to school. I was very fortunate to get a chance to uh, come play football and pay for my education. Uh, got a great degree here. Um, and so this is where I always felt like I kind of grew up as a man. And to get a chance to come back and be able to give back to, um, you know, a new generation of, of young people coming through is, is a big deal to me. So I feel like it's kind of like wearing your, uh, your family name on. Well, I've got two family names. One of them is the Tulsa family, and then I'm also carrying my own family name. Well, it's changed a lot. Uh, I'm talking about Tulsa football. Uh, I was here in the 70s and 
the campus, the facilities, all that relatively remained completely unchanged until, shoot, less than 10 years ago. And just literally in the last seven, eight years has this campus completely renovated itself. I mean, it's uh, everything from the on-campus housing to the classroom buildings to now the stadium. Man, it's a, it's a new place and it's a place that we're very proud of. And I think that's the biggest thing for me is that there's such a pride now in who, not just the pro product that we're putting on the field or not just the product we're graduating, but it's also, you know, you want to bring people to your house and show them. You know, we've got really neat places and uh, neat people. And uh, that, that for me is kind of the top part of this right now is that it's just so much fun to see how it's grown. Well, you're going to see exciting football. Since 2007, we've led the nation twice. We've been in the top 10 about three or four times. So you're going to see explosive, high-powered offense. The fun thing, I think, right now is that we're playing as good a defense as has ever been played around here. And it's not just a, you know, that you're keeping people from making yardage. Uh, we've set setting records in quarterback sacks and uh, tackles for loss. You've got all this you know, high-powered blitzing offense, seeing big plays on defense. And I think from a, just a pure excitement standpoint, this is a great product. I was very fortunate to not only have been exposed to really good coaches, but also other men and ladies that were at this university that just challenged me to think, challenged me to stand on principle, to, to find out who I was and what I believed in, and then to be willing to, you know, to speak up and to stand up. And so we don't hide the fact that that's one of our challenges we give to the young men that come in here. We're trying to hopefully help them to become men that later on in their life, they're gonna show up and stand up and speak up and that they're going to stay and, and be fathers that don't run out on their kids and they're going to be husbands that don't leave their families. And um, I, I think ultimately we would just like to think that, you know, you played a part in making this a better culture. Oh, this is a great time of year. Football season. Hey, make sure we got plenty of chips and pizza to get us through the weekend. All right, Meet Rocky, just hold on. So you guys don't miss any of the big games this season, be sure to visit TulsaHurricanes.com. Hey, on the 14th, TU goes to Norman to take on the Sooners. You know, CV, the start of football also marks the end of summer. That's the only bad thing. Soon there'll be no more outdoor concerts. Hey, but we did capture one of the best ones to hit the Riverwalk with the Battle of the Bands. That's almost as good as football. Musicians hitting each other with their instruments. Full body tackles on stage. No, Stevie. We'll let you guys see for yourself when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. For a taste of Italy in Tulsa, may we recommend Tiamo. For 20 years, Tulsa diners have come to Tiamo for the very best in authentic Italian and Mediterranean dishes. With a dining room perfectly suited for single diners or groups and an incomparable menu, it's easy to see why Tiamo has been voted best Italian restaurant in Tulsa. Tiamo now with two locations. 61st and Sheridan, and our new downtown location on the northeast corner of 3rd and Cheyenne. Tiamo, fine dining at an affordable price. Have you noticed your vision seeming a little narrowed and blurry? Then you may be suffering from SDTV. Let the LED experts at Video Revolution help you see what you've been missing. Like the Samsung 1080p 50 inch LED for only $749 or this Sony 60-inch 1080p LED for only $14.99. Video Revolution at 71st and Lewis can help you find the perfect HD. And 3D prescription to custom fit your home entertainment needs. When we last left you, we promised to return with the ultimate Battle of the Bands and more Explore Tulsa. Stevie, uh, it's not an actual uh, battle. No fighting or full contact? No, just great local musicians providing Tulsa a good time at the Riverwalk Crossing. Yeah, we started the whole Battle of the Bands roughly around June, when we, whenever we first launched uh, the concert series, and 
really it all kind of came together within like the last three weeks from the vendors to 20 bands you know everybody that was involved in it and, and that kind of thing molly moore's done a great job she's been kind of we, we've worked hand in hand with the whole project along with the creek nation and of course all the bands and the vendors just grateful that they're here it's been awesome <laughs> We are in it for the longevity. What is good for the Muscogee Creek Nation is also going to be good for the surrounding communities. Um, if we grow and as a community and our businesses grow, then we're helping everyone. Um, we are in a stage of where we're going to renovate the whole river walk on our side that we have. And I mean, we're just going to continue to do activities out here to help the businesses, even through the winter months. They're, they're all battling all day. We've been out here since eight o'clock this morning. They're going to go for $1,000 and they're going to have two hours of recording time. We're very fortunate to have a state-of-the-art studio in Clear Channel, and I'm not talking about our control room. The performance room has got a full mixer set up, um, a whole separate room for the engineer from where the band is that helps out the engineer. You know, I, I've worked for Z104.5 The Edge, I worked for, you know, K-Hits and, and Bob and, and all the different radio stations here in Tulsa and, and it's, uh, I, I've always just had a love for music, so to be involved in the local music scene for me, uh, I wanted to do it, but I wanted to do it for something like this. I wanted to, you know, I wanted it to be special, so it had to be something special for me to be able to get involved and to bring everybody together. You love the burnt black whiskey, a whiskey. Is what I crave. Oh, I can't get enough of that terrible stuff. It's gonna put me in an early grave. I've seen some potential, most definitely. Um, kind of a, a, a little bit of a wide array of different kinds of talents. These are tough things to judge because you're not only, you know, first of all, this is one dummy's opinion. So, you know, music is one of those things where, you know, what one person likes, another person doesn't. Uh, I do like the idea and the concept with us being up here and other bands being here, uh, an opportunity uh, to learn more about the industry and, and, and growth in the industry. I think that's something uh, that it's, it's hard to learn if you don't know, uh, you know, uh, if you haven't been there before. So it's great for these bands to get to network in these situations. It is great to have people work in the music industry and kind of maybe show you some avenues you didn't think about as far as making money in the industry. It's very tough to make money. We wanted to do something that was never done. Um, as far as we knew, we had never had all three top rock stations in Tulsa together, you know, for an event like this. And we really wanted to, you know, kind of give something back to the community that was special beyond belief. And, and that was the only way to do it, we thought. We are actually going to do some charities for a school in Tulsa. We are going to do a wolf stock. It's going to have dogs and everyone's going to come out with their pets. Um, all of our events that we have out here are all family oriented. Any age can come out. I mean, anything that we do, it's a, going to be a family clean event. Man, if I'd only known about the Battle of the Bands earlier, it could have been me and you up there, Trish. We could have put the band back together. All right, well, first of all, Stevie, we've never had a band, and neither one of us can sing or play an instrument. Details, Trish, don't ruin the moment. Hey, we did, however, have the Explore Tulsa House Band foregoing gravity do us proud. They sure did, and you can visit muskogeenation-nsn.org to find out more about upcoming events at the Riverwalk Crossing. You know, Trish, the end of summer also marks the countdown to baseball playoff action. That's true, Stevie, and we found a guy that loves 
baseball as much as you do. Plus, Jerry Jacobson has found a way to make baseball his mission. So coming up on Explore Tulsa, we introduce you to World Baseball Outreach. Since 1964, Guitar House of Tulsa is the player's choice. We provide excellent customer service and the best selection on guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, ukuleles, and amplifiers in Tulsa. Check out the latest products from PRS, Martin, Taylor, Spectre, Charvel, Takamini, Alvarez, Mesa Boogie, Orange, and many more. Open Monday through Saturday. Ask about our string instrument repair, 0% interest financing, and private lessons with the best instructions in Tulsa. Guitar House of Tulsa, we'll keep you strumming along. At Bitter Evolution, we've got today's 3D technology. Smart TVs. And I can help you pick the one that's a larger size TV. We handle it all here at Video Revolution. Now people can get a 90-inch TV. Hopefully on an operator. Now coming up on a 30-year anniversary. Customer service is our priority. We have our own service center. It just brings back enjoyment to watching TV. And now it's affordable for everybody. And we sell fun stuff. It's like toys for big kids. The customers that come into Video Revolution are blown away. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 clients to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. Combatter, 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 combatter. Swing, explore Tulsa. You know you can't tease batters anymore in baseball, right? Yeah, Stevie? it's that old sportsmanship thing. Yeah, good sportsmanship, Stevie. People doing great things with the games they love, like Jerry Jacobson and his program, World Baseball Outreach. Well, growing up myself, I was alone. I had a parent, but they were, you know, inactive in my life. And I was real unsure of myself a lot of times. And I made a lot of mistakes growing up into my teens and, and on into my early 20s. And basically, baseball was a good time for me to be taught, you know, a lot of games of the game. But it was also life lessons that were basically taught in the game. You know, how to fall, make an error and get back up and or if I see a friend making a failure or an error, I can go pick them up. And it was teaching me a lot of life lessons. My uh, history includes a lot of baseball young, growing up like many kids today. Not as many games as they play today, but I played all through uh, high school and uh, went into college ball and played a little bit and got lured away uh, into playing some independent baseball and uh, did that for a couple years and uh, got sent home. The heart was there, but the, uh, the ability wasn't quite there. So uh, I spent a lot of years kind of trying to decide you know what to do with myself and uh, I always wanted something to do with baseball and helping kids but back then I wasn't sure what that meant. It all began back in 1995 on a mission trip to Nicaragua. Uh, I went on my church and I went on a mission trip with them and I basically within the next uh, few days of being there I had just noticed kids everywhere playing with some of the rudest things. They'd have cartons, milk cartons smashed, drink cartons smashed against their hands for gloves. They were playing with tape balls, rocks, and I thought, boy, I've got all this equipment back at my house and I could collect equipment myself. And so I started in 1995 collecting uh, baseball equipment. And I thought it was gonna be all about the equipment. And uh, for several years, we would get equipment in from the Tulsa and surrounding areas and we would fix it up, clean it up, relace the gloves and send it back and a lot of times it would go across town and sometimes it would go to a, a Eastern Bloc country with mission teams and uh, several ways. So we did that for several years and probably the highlight became when I just, I suddenly realized I needed more. I wanted to see those faces of those kids more and so we decided we were gonna do baseball clinics and we had our first clinic ever in 2006 at the Tulsa Boys Home. World Baseball Outreach has grown way past my expectations. I thought it was going to be all about all this equipment. That was easy. And we still do a great job of that shipping all around the world today. But the biggest part uh, and joy I get out of the growth we're seeing is not only the kids we're working with is growing year by year, but it's also the number of volunteers. And the number of volunteers we're getting to come out and help and inspire these kids. So it's been a growth on both sides that's been a real joy.
It's really not about the game of baseball or softball as we do with the girls. It's all about putting smiles, uh, hope into the lives of these children that don't have a fair advantage right now and they could be anywhere. Uh, they be, could be kids your, your kids were running around with, a friend of theirs, or it could be a kid in another area of town. But basically, uh, it's up to us to really put hope and uh, joyful smiles on these kids all around the world. And uh, baseball and softball is just an easy way to do it. It's so wonderful to meet a guy like Jerry. His efforts are doing so much to meet so many needs of kids who wouldn't otherwise have a chance to be involved in organized sports. Plus combine that with the lessons they learn about working together and sharing, that's what really helps those kids understand the importance about believing. If you'd like to help Jerry, visit worldbaseballoutreach.org or look him up on Facebook. Stick around, because on deck, we wrap this game up with the final stats when we return with more Explore Tulsa. Looking for a new home entertainment experience? Well, hi, and welcome to Video Revolution, Tulsa's best in cutting-edge electronics. Professional, highly trained home entertainment experts. Video Revolution's been serving Tulsans for over 25 years with name brands like Sony, Philips, Definitive Technology, Samsung, and so many more. Great selection, price match guarantee, custom installation, expert assistance, equals home entertainment success. See for yourself. The Video Revolution showroom features the largest selection of flat panel TVs in all of Oklahoma. Plus, the latest in 3D entertainment. Highly trained home entertainment experts on hand. Professional delivery, installation, and service after the sale. And the best selection of name brands. Visit us online at videorevolution.com and find out more about everything we have to offer. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Be sure and stop in next week when we meet the voice of TU football, Bruce Howard. We want to thank Linda Bradshaw and all the folks putting on the event celebrating the 75th Diamond Jubilee of the Will Rogers Museum. Thanks, too, to TU head football coach Bill Blankenship. Hope those plays that I gave you work out. And to Rick Viper and Molly Moore and everyone who rocked the Battle of the Bands at the Riverwalk Crossing. And thanks, Jerry Jacobson, for all the good work being done with the World Baseball Outreach. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And we welcome Explore Tulsa's newest title sponsor, Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for $99 deal with two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.